Hi folks, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be doing a couple of reviews for you. First fragrance review is going to be individual review. And this is sort of like uh, getting some popularity and uh, hype right now. Is a fragrance from House of Art Al Zafran. Uh, it's called Al Dirham. So this fragrance, <clears throat> I saw a few reviews and I saw some people posting in my group, Fracom Bangladesh. And then I saw, okay, this one's getting some hype. And then most of the reviews, if you see, uh, they will post a picture of uh, Chanel Aliron Sport and also sometimes Au Extreme. You know, these two fragrances, this is said to be a clone of. So I saw uh, all the reviews that came, popped on my, you know, uh, <clears throat> like a feed or the search. So I decided to get it because, you know, this is a very nice popular DNA. And, uh, you know, you can use it. I do have the Chanel's. I have the, those fragrances, similar fragrances, but one more wouldn't hurt. So time now, <clears throat> it's around 11 a.m. As you can tell from my voice, uh, it's a pretty bad condition. The cold, it's really getting the best of me. Uh, I think I have to start my antibiotics again, uh, which is going to suck, but, you know, cannot do anything. And another thing is if you happen to survive the scare yes yesterday, like one hour, Facebook was out, right? <laughs> I literally thought, you know, like literally, oh, man, I got hacked or something. I really panicked. Then I asked my friends. They all were suffering. So it shows. Uh, how much we're dependent on social media to do our work, you know, to post. I was really scared if I lost my Facebook, then I wouldn't be able to post anywhere my reviews and all that. So anyway, hopefully you are okay and your accounts are safe. So let's look into this. This is a very affordable perfume, about $25 uh, price tag within $25. Uh, this is a limited edition EDP, 100 mil, thankfully. Really beautiful presentation. I really want to do this from rooftop, but uh, as I have a little bit of a fever and cold, I don't want to go to the intense sun. Very hot and humid. Yesterday, I was out uh, to renew the car, you know, fitness and all that. It's a very lengthy process and it's very painful. It was very hot. I had to wait outside, drive long way. So anyway, I'm good. And I don't want to go out. Too much jam, man. Now it is crazy. So let's see. Uh, this is the box. Unnecessarily big box. I don't like that at all. Uh, I mean, if you see the size of the box, you can fit literally like two to three bottles of there, you know, of this perfume. So when you carry these, I don't think it would be a good idea to carry with the box. You just wrap the bottle and carry. This is how the box looks. The side, I think it says Al Um, Okay, not bad. Not bad presentation. Nothing really crazy going on here. Uh, these are made in UAE. Yeah. I don't know if Arda Zafran, I don't remember. Maybe last time I remembered that they were doing a clone of Black Orchid at their sub brand or something. I don't remember, but maybe they were. So the bottle is really beautiful. I really like the look of this bottle. If I was outdoors, I would be able to show you. It's a very reflective kind of like a, you can say lime, sort of like a yellow golden hue to the bottle, kind of like reflective. It reminds me of Stronger With You Leather by Armani, that bottle, but very limey, sort of a reflective bottle. Really like this, really beautiful. And uh, the cap is also nice, good design to it. It's a very beautiful bottle. It You can take really nice pictures with it. So I am running a little bit of a runny nose and then not runny nose only. I am actually not being able to smell so much because my system is blocked. So this one I smelled since yesterday, I cannot smell that much. So this one I smell like a couple of days back. So I have a memory of it. So I'll show you the spray and talk about it. I have good memories of it. Atomizer, sir. Good, really good quality atomizer. I thought it would, it's not going to be that good. The cap is not very uh, heavy. It clicks onto place somewhat. So uh <clears throat> what do you get from this okay first of all to be able to compare a fragrance clone to original you have to have the original so yes uh this is the chanel alirum sport that is getting the fragrance is getting some comparison also i'll keep it just for reference point let me remove the box actually it's too big okay so and the fragrance is chanel alirum sport of extreme this is the adp concentration that i have i got this in 2016 in malaysia i have about 10 ml left this bottle, uh, Alion Sport is 150 mil. This is my second bottle actually back then. And I have about uh, 30 or 20 mil left. So these two fragrances also, for reference point, I'll keep the Versace Porum here. Just I'll tell you why. So here's my analysis. And I'll tell you with all due respect, you know, I don't want to say that any reviewers are wrong or, you know, their nose is broke or anything. <laughs> it's no disrespect. I just let you know what I get. And I've been doing this for a while. I've been smelling all sorts of fragrances. So I compared them. So uh, yesterday when I posted, I did say this is a clone of not Alirum Sport because I blind bought this and when I sprayed it, it smelled nothing like Alirum Sport at all, at all. Uh, 
I don't know if there are two versions okay, of Al Dirgham, like they released initially and then perhaps later the second version they changed the juice. It happens with Al Haramain. They released uh, Al Haramain Amberud, one of the fragrances. One was a clone of Tobacco Vini. Second one, they cloned, I think, the Interlude Man or something like that. I don't remember exactly. So at that point, I was very disappointed because I wanted Tobacco Vini clone, but I got, uh, like, I think the other one. So anyway, uh, I don't know if this is the case, but I did not smell anything in this that smelled like Aliron Sport. Aliron Sport, let me tell you, um, if you ask me, Aliron Sport is a fragrance I know for a very long time. This is a fresh, neroli, musky, um, like, I don't know what else is in there. Um, it's a sweet, fresh, creamy, a lot of musk. I really like the musk in there, but it's really fresh. It lasts a long time. And what they released in O Extreme, it is basically a more musky version of this. This is more sweeter and tonka bean heavy. So the Versace Purum is here for reference because this is a lighter take on Alirom Sport. This VPH is a uh, less musky version and more, uh, you can say, um, how do I put it? Like ozonic, uh, neroli, citrus, lemony version of Alirom Sport. So all of these are kind of similar DNA, right? Versace, you can have a 200 ml for much cheaper than Alirom Sport, uh, 100 ml. So it's a budget option. So all these are there. So uh, I would love to have another cheaper alternative, like 20 something dollars, we can, which I can use because I know these Middle Eastern perfumes, on most part, they project and last pretty decent. Longevity, I, let me tell you, I got from this. It's not mind boggling. Like it's not like a crazy, like Chanel performance, no. But it's definitely better than Versace Purum. I get like from this like four hours to five hours in total longevity with an excellent projection of one hour initially. It really popped like from my skin and my shirt when I went out in the warm situation. It was projecting. So performance is very good. Price is very good. Bottle is very beautiful. How's the smell? This is the most interesting thing. When I sprayed this, there is supposedly a mandarin orange, you know, like an orangey, citrusy, zingy flavor. And then it's followed by uh, some other notes i would i don't remember all of those let me actually check yeah now i saw tangerine geranium lemongrass this is asper fragrantica also got lily of the valley tuberose jasmine rose cloves cinnamon tonka means musk vanilla and floral notes so when you see that musk and tonka uh, it perhaps will give you idea like maybe you know like it's a uh, uh, similar to chanel but as you see there's no mention of neroli but that lemongrass and whatever that uh, tangerine i did not distinguish could not distinguish between any of the oranges but i did feel there's little mandarin oranges like chinese ones if you know the skin or the peel of that orange and then the zestiness <coughs> zestiness of it and the lemony opening like candied lemon if you know lolita lempica uh, that fragrance what is it called uh lempica not om the other one lolita lempica wait, hold on that fragrance is very nice yeah sorry i keep forgetting stuff uh, if you know the fragrance called green lover so there is this candied lemon in there, which uh, this one reminds me of. But this is not to that point of sweet and, and very heavy that goes to vanillic uh, Nishane Ani direction. So you can say Green Lover from Lolita Olympica is a more candied version of Nishane Ani. Really beautiful performance as well. So this one gives me that candied lemon. Really nice. The opening is really beautiful. It's a little bit musky. Okay, when you spray this, it's not straight up just lemon water. Okay, it's a little bit like Middle Eastern style, style of musk, but it's very modern. So... Uh, the floral, musky, the tangerine, tangy opening is very, very refreshing. And I really enjoyed the opening. At that opening, I did not feel at all like Aliron Sport. So this is just my nose. You can feel different. And this is the beauty of fragrance game. Um, you know, it's up to you what you get. But to my nose, at any point, I did not get anything similar to Aliron Sport, even on the dry down. If you ask me Versace Purum, some properties of that, you know, those florals, you know, uh, perhaps the, it, it is in there but it's also refreshing like versace purum but uh, not uh, exactly a clone of that so it's a very nice perfume strength strength of this fragrance at par price point is beautiful bottle is good smell is nice and the longevity is very decent for a summer perfume uh, if it lasts for four to five hours you know it's a good performer so uh, should you get it if you're looking for an alternate chanel alion sport i would not say so maybe you should get something like if albait aldi mashki has one because they are the best so far for, uh, you know, clones or, you know, like something you can say a uh, good dupe of. They do exact pinpoint sort of clones. Um, or if you want, Versace Purum, you can go for the 200 ml. Those are your best best for uh, Aliron Sport clone. But here, uh, Aldirham, you can get this on its own. I mean, for a fragrance of its own, 
you will not be disappointed. I mean, like this fragrance does not smell like, you know, a clone of anything that I have. So that's a nice change of pace. All good stuff. If you ask me about criticism, again, that hype that she's getting, like Alien Sport, absolutely nothing to do with O Extreme at all. This is a very different fragrance. So, uh, yeah, it's not a clone of those. But uh, again, I will not say it's a bad thing or a weakness. So, <clears throat> uh, the one last point I would like to add uh, when I posted this, my dear friend Nixon Diaz from uh, UAE, he's a fellow reviewer. You guys know him, very popular. And uh, his uh, work content is massive. He covers a lot of fragrances from every designer niche, Middle Eastern. So his uh, knowledge is uh, vast. So he said, also, I, I at no point felt like this is a clone of Elion Sport. I felt like this was something similar to the opening of Versa as not Versace, Bentley for Men's Silver Lake with a citrus opening. So this is the sort of the closest thing I could also feel. I wrote that also before he put the comment. I also, I don't know, it's a good sweet coincidence. So both of us feel the same way. And I give credit to Nixon Diaz. So I reconfirm like, yeah, my nose was not broken. So uh, this thing, if you love Silver Lake, if you like Profondo by Aqua Di Gio line, you know, so think of more of a citrusy version of that. Yeah, it, this is leaning towards more this direction. And also uh, the Silver Lake, it's, it's a good performer, but I think this uh, is a similar performance, like five to six hours for a freshie. I would say safe to say five hours in warm weathers. You have to go heavy on your shirt, this and this bowl. Projection wise, not going very messy. If you want a projector, this is a projector, man. I smell this on people, my friends back in the days. They were smelling fabulous in high heat and this was beastly. Okay, so Chanel definitely has its quality. So yeah, this can lean that way. So uh, yeah, but not as an Aqua Digio per se, right? But uh, these are all in the same family. This, this uh, Chanel Aileron Sport because of the freshness, the summery vibe, the, uh, you know, like floral, masculine. You can try that. So this is built for men. I think women also may like it. It's not the most masculine scent, like like really macho men. It's a very friendly summer days, sunny days kind of fragrance. Overall, uh, I think, uh, let me remove all this from the fragrance. And I think on its own, I really like this. I will give props. This is one of the best fragrances in recent times in 2023 release. I really like it. Uh, definitely a must try. I'll give this a 9 out of 10. Despite uh, all the Chanel, Chanel talk and everything, it doesn't matter. Not everything has to be a clone of something popular on its own. It's a very refreshing and mouthwatering, sort of like a zesty fragrance. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. What do you feel about this perfume? And uh, do let me know if my uh, discussion or prediction on the batch code variation or the production year has something to do with the different smell. Okay. Have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.